Hey guys, welcome back to Project Bodybuilding. So two weekends ago now, Wesley Vissers won the Arnold Classic title in the Classic Physique Division. Now, he had just placed 7th at the Olympia prior to this in 2023, so he leapfrogged a ton of guys to get to that Arnold Classic victory. Urs Kalsinski, Brian Ainsley, and even Ramon Dino. Now, everyone thinks Wesley is heir to the Classic Physique throne, and he'll finally be the one to defeat Chris Bumstead. I gotta say, I don't think anyone is going to touch Chris, not even Wesley, but has Wesley even escaped Ramon Dino? Let's all keep in mind that between the Olympia and the Arnold, Ramon took most of that time off, and he only prepped for six weeks. Everyone knows that he was worse than his Olympia version. And therein lies the question, what if we did see an Olympia version of Ramon? I think Wesley has solidified himself above the other guys like Urz and Breon because he beat them yet again at the Arnold UK, but Ramon wasn't at the Arnold UK. We didn't get to see that rematch, let alone an accurate one the first time around since Ramon really didn't treat this prep with the proper respect and diligence. So let's see what might have happened if Ramon got a together and brought a package that was closer to his Olympia version. In this video, we will be comparing Wesley Vissers from the 2024 Arnold Classic, because I think that was the better version compared to the Arnold UK, and because that was the Arnold these guys actually faced off at. The more important one too, if we're being honest. And we'll compare that package for Wesley to Ramon Dino's 2023 Mr. Olympia physique. That's really all I have to say in this intro, so let's go ahead and jump into the video. If you guys like these types of videos, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more. In the front double, we have some very strong poses for each guy, but they're very strong in very different ways. In overall imposingness and looking huge, I have Wesley, and I'd also give him the arms. Ramon has great arms and forearms, but while his are very full and they don't really peak very well, Wesley's arms are very thick and he has better peaks. But in terms of structure, I have Ramon winning. Not everyone thinks Wesley is blocky, but I think a lot of fans still do, even with the improvements he's made. And I am one of those that do think he's a little blocky. I think the lats have gotten wider and his waist has come down ever so slightly, and the better quads help balance things out a little bit more, but he just doesn't have that typical X-frame shape. He has a Y-frame, which is fairly classic, keep in mind. I would categorize Arnold Schwarzenegger himself as having a Y-frame, not an X-frame. So you can look very classic even with a Y-frame, but I think Wesley has the problem of high lats, which isn't very good when you have a wider waist and not the best quad sweep. In this case, I definitely prefer Ramon's typical X-frame. His waist is much smaller than Wesley's and his upper body taper is so much better as well. He has the more pronounced V-shape upstairs. And his quads are just as wide as Wesley, probably more so proportionally speaking. Speaking. So with his tighter waist and solid legs, Ramon has the X-frame in the back. And to me, for classic physique, that is the most important aspect, cutting the better outline. But Wesley still really impresses me too when I'm not looking at the waist. He's just massive, while he does win the arms too. I think this one is kind of close. Personally, I would go with Ramon. But I think objectively, if I'm putting myself in the judges' shoes, I would go with Wesley. He's very good from the rib cage up and from the waist down, and I think he does enough to win here. So I'm going to give him this pose, but let the record show I vastly prefer Ramon in this shot for having the better shape. The side chest is a pretty close shot as well. I think Wesley yet again looks more imposing and he's massive, but Ramon is a little more compact and brings great thickness per square inch. So in terms of the overall physique, I do kind of lean towards Wesley because he's so huge and brings some good details. But on a body part for body part basis, Ramon racks up some good wins. In the side leg, these guys are close because Wesley has improved, but I still got to go with Ramon. He has the striated glutes too, and his leg, both ham drop and quad height, are more filled out on his leg compared to Wesley's. Wesley may have some advantages with his longer legs, like being taller, of course, but you have to be able to fill those out and he's not on Ramon's level in that aspect. Now in the Armandel, I do prefer Ramon, not by too much because both guys are good, but I think Ramon's longer and thicker bicep helps him more in the pose than it did in the front double. Ramon also has the thicker forearms, which is a nice touch. And in the delt, Wesley seems to have a bit more rear delt, but it's not a fair comparison because Ramon is twisting his torso way too much. But we can see they have similar levels of mass, so I'm calling it even. And with Ramon's victory in the arm, that makes him the winner of the entire upper limb. Now the most important part, the pecs. This is a very good example of hurting yourself with posing. Again, Ramon is twisting too far. He's not stacking the chest and the pecs with the rest of his torso. He's too open, which makes him look less thick and less filled out than he actually is. But still, he does bring a lot of thickness in the chest, even if we don't get to see the full extent of what he probably should be looking like. But Wesley, while he may just be a touch flatter, has the superior detail. He has a lot more striations. And overall, I think he does get a small victory over Ramon because of that detail. And he's pretty thick himself, just not as thick as Ramon. And then once again, when you look at the physiques in totality, Ramon looks a little more stacked, a little more filled in. But Wesley's so wide up top and wins in those upper body details. So even if you give Ramon the pecs for a little more unrefined mass, I don't think that'd be enough for him to win the overall pose. I think Wesley does enough in the lower body and slightly wins the pecs in my eyes. And structurally, he is bigger than Ramon. So he takes a win here, but it is very, very close. I have Ramon right there. I honestly think Ramon could have won the shot if he just had better posing, which is unfortunate, but I think it highlights how close this is even with Ramon handicapping himself. 
Now let's get to a pose that I think is pretty easy to decide. I have Ramon easily taking the rear double. Even with his slightly awkward posing, and even with Wesley's improvements, this is an open shut case. Let's start with the lower body first and foremost. Honestly, this may be an even bigger win for Ramon than the back is going to be. Wesley's quads are fine now. I think they're filled in enough, they've gotten a little bit wider. He's definitely brought the quads up, but his legs are absolutely abysmal from the rear. The weird stance makes things 10 times worse too. He has no adductors, his hams are very poor in terms of development and detail, and his glutes aren't sharp, and they definitely need to come up. Ramon's lower body isn't crazy or anything, I think he could pose the area better for sure to bring out some more detail, but he is still so much more filled in and developed down here. Wesley looks like he's standing on toothpicks from the rear, quite frankly. Ramon beats him in everything, he's just more complete and more developed. Ramon beats him in everything in the lower body, he's just more complete and more developed. In the back, it's a similar story. For one, Wesley has a pretty shallow lower back. His lats are high, we saw that earlier in the front double, and they're on display here in the rear double. Ramon's lats insert much lower and have the thicker insertions, and he has a good Christmas tree because of that. Wesley has a faint one, but it's placed very high on his back because his lats are so high. Ramon really is the only one with a lower back here. He wins this area by default. Now in terms of width, which isn't super important for the rear double but does account for something, that does go to Wesley. He may have high lats but they're wide and he has the bigger structure from the get go. But in terms of the all important detail, that's going to Ramon. His back just overall has a thicker look to it and the details he has are much more dug out compared to Wesley's. And finally, Wesley does get a small win in the arms and delts for what it's worth. He has the more splintery looking delts with all those striations which is a nice touch and his bicep peaks are much better. But other than the upper limbs and the width, two victories which really aren't that important, Wesley gets taken to school everywhere else. In the lower body and back thickness and detail, all the most important things are going to Ramon by a lot. I probably even went more into detail on this pose than I probably should have. Let's be honest, this was clear from the second we saw this pose, Ramon takes a decisive victory here. And Ramon is going to get another decisive victory moving to the abs and thighs. Well, we'll actually get to the vacuum and thighs in a second, but first let's take a look at the crunched abs version of this pose. I do think Wesley wins the thighs portion. I like his very neat separation and they don't look so narrow anymore. I think if Ramon was posing a bit better, he could have taken this area because his quads are also great, but regardless, Ramon still stacks up well. However, Wesley just loses way too much in the abs. He just doesn't have the good separation in them. Take a look at Ramon's. They may not be the most symmetrical, but he has good blockiness to them and deeper separation. I definitely don't like his obliques and how they spill over a little bit, but I like Wesley's lack of separation even less. Ramon still brings a solid lower body and better abs, so I think he has the greater sum of parts here, but I do think this variation is a little closer. But then when we factor in the vacuum and thighs, it's game over for Wesley. This is what makes it a decisive win for Ramon. Now again, Wesley gets a win on the quads for the same reasons as in the other variation, but keep in mind, Ramon is far from bad. I just like Wesley more. But in the midsection and really the entire torso, it's really no contest. Ramon has the deeper vacuum, the more appealing rib cage, better abs even while he's doing the vacuum, and the much better V taper. Wesley has that weird rib cage. I've never seen anyone's lower ribs just poke out like that. Maybe it's not a big deal for you, and it's probably not a super big deal to me, I guess, but it's still a little weird. What's a bigger issue is Wesley's blockiness. His lats are pretty wide, but also very high and don't taper well. And his waist is wider too, which basically equals zero V taper. Ramon on the other hand has that perfect V shape. Even though Ramon isn't as big as Wesley, and even though he lost the legs in my opinion, I still have him clearly winning the pose. Because even though Wesley may do some things better, Ramon is just flawless. Yeah, if you pick them apart, you can say, well, Wesley has bigger quads, but Ramon's are just fine. And if you zoom out and look at the entire physique as a whole, Ramon is clearly cutting the better outline. Not to mention he has the better vacuum and like I said, he doesn't really have flaws. I could find a couple for Wesley. I really wouldn't change too much of Ramon's physique if I could, it's textbook. And since he narrowly won the crunched abs version and then slammed the door on the abs and thighs, this entire pose goes to Ramon easily. In the favorite classic pose, I don't think it's any surprise who I'm going with here. Now let me say, just in this pose, and these still pictures, Ramon looks alright. I think this is a decent pose for him too. His tricep is pretty good, he has great arms, we know that, and he gets to show off his abs in this pose, which is a plus. Even the lower body gets to play a role here, but Ramon didn't really get the memo apparently because he isn't flexing super well. And you know, that's really the entire problem with Ramon. In this photo, he looks good, but his posing overall is poor. It gets a little better at each show, but he just makes so many small mistakes, even at the Arnold, he was making some of those same mistakes. At the Arnold, Tyler Mannion literally pulled him aside to work on posing. And in this pose, the favorite classic pose in total, I don't like to consider just one pose. That's really subjective, and apples to oranges most of the time. I consider it, but I like to consider posing as a whole and make it a referendum on how these guys pose throughout this entire comparison. And I watch videos too when I do these comparisons. So I try to let nothing escape me by using and watching videos, because that is the major pitfall of picture comparisons. You don't get to see the transitions and so on. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is that Wesley is the better poser than Ramon. Wesley 
does some things I definitely don't like, like the posing in the rear double and the lower body, and a couple of ways he hits other poses in his posing routine, but by and large, he is the better poser. One of Wesley's mandatories has an issue. I can find issues with every single one of Ramon's poses. And just getting back to this pose specifically, I like Wesley's more for sure. He picked a better suited pose for his physique and hits it to hide his weaknesses. He's making his arms the centerpiece of the pose, which is a good idea, and with his tilt and putting his arm on his hip and all these other little tweaks, his lines actually look very good. His waist looks the smallest in this pose than any of the others we looked at today, and his taper looks decent here as well. He looks very imposing, he gets to show off those guns, and he's minimizing his weaknesses. So whether you're just looking at these two picks or considering posing as a whole, I have Wesley beating Ramon. So to round this comparison out, Wesley wins the favorite classic pose. Well, on paper, Wesley won this comparison. He won three poses to Ramon's two. Ramon won the absent thighs and the rear double. Wesley won the front double, side chest, and the favorite classic pose. So that's settled, right? Wesley has fully surpassed Ramon and a superior version of him now in this comparison, and Wesley is the favorite to place higher at the Olympia, right? Well, no, not to me. To be fair, I don't really know what's going to happen, but I'm going against the results of the mandatories in this comparison. And with that, I think Ramon is the current favorite over Wesley. That is, assuming we get something like this Olympia package or even better. Look, I understand Wesley won more mandatories in I stand by that, I'm not going to change the results. But look at the physiques in totality, which we know that the judges do also do in addition to the mandatories. They don't just look at the mandatories. The mandatory poses of course make up the bulk of the competition, but they're not everything. When examining these two physiques as a whole, I think Wesley gets hurt a lot. Why is that? Well, Ramon is by far more complete and that does matter a lot. And that always doesn't pan out in the mandatory round, especially in classic because there are only five poses, but we know Wesley has some serious gaps in his physique for sure. Ramon demolished him in the back even with the improvements Wesley has made. I think in the current top five at last year's Mr. Olympia, the only one Wesley can be in terms of the back is Urs, and that's really not saying much at all. And Ramon has the better lower body as a whole. Ramon's quads are very respectable, but I do probably like Wesley's a little more for those clean lines. But when we factor in everything, like the entire backside of the legs, it's no contest. Wesley has no glutes and his hams and adductors are sorely lacking. Ramon may not have the strongest amalgamation of body parts, but on a per body part basis, when we stack these two guys together, Ramon has less gaps than Wesley for sure. And completeness is a big factor, especially in classic. I'd rather have a more complete competitor than more overall size on a particular competitor. And the last thing I want to mention is Ramon's shape. That's another vital win for him when it comes down to the overall physique. I think Wesley gets by in certain shots even with his blocky structure just because he's so big and that helps, but in others it was a big hindrance. Overall Ramon has the more classic structure, to me at least. Classic is of course objective. But this is how I see it. His waist is smaller, he has the wider legs, and the better V taper which leads to a much better overall X frame. And this is classic overall, so whoever has the better structure should obviously be very important important to you. And just one more final point, if you do want to weight those mandatories more, consider margins too. Wesley won three poses, sure, but in the front double and the side chest, I think it could have gone either way. But Ramon won his two poses, the rear double and the abs and thighs, by a clear margin. It wasn't even close. So sure, Wesley won more, but his wins were coin flips mainly. Some guys out there would have had Ramon winning three or four poses, and I'd be fine with it. Heck, I almost had that happening myself. So overall, I don't have Wesley winning this comparison, and to me, that makes sense. Ramon has the overall better physique with the better flow and completeness. Even at the Arnold with the weakest Ramon we've seen in two years, he still only lost to Wesley by one point. So even with Ramon half-assing his prep, he was right there with Wesley in the judges' eyes. And we saw in this comparison if Ramon just tweaks his physique a little bit and does a proper prep, bringing a better package, that shape and completeness will lead him to what I think would be a solid victory. Now again, I don't know what's going to happen. I think Ramon is probably more likely to place ahead of Wesley at the Olympia, but that's contingent on a few things. Maybe Wesley continues improving. Maybe Ramon brings another 2024 Arnold Classic type of package. We don't know and it's very early, but if these two versions we used today got together on stage, I have Ramon winning. So no, I do not think Wesley could defeat a better version of Ramon Dino. Well, that's going to do it for today's video. How did you guys see this one? I know both guys have very active and very opinionated fan bases, so let me know your thoughts. Do you think it's going to go down to the wire 50-50 at this year's Olympia? Do you think Wesley is next in line to that Olympia title? Let me know what you think about both of these guys and how you saw this comparison. And if you guys like these types of videos, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more comparisons like this one. By the way, if you guys are in need of any high quality subs, the ones I use personally, look no further than Arms Raised Nutrition. Then at checkout, use my code PROJECT10 for 10% off your entire order. That's code PROJECT10 at Arms Raised Nutrition. Com. Finally, with all that said, I want to thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.